oh my goodness isn't this a mess well guys let me tell you like this my shower curtain fell down i thought i was gonna easily put it back up in the same holes but no that didn't work the first molly worked but the second molly didn't so i pushed that molly through i got a bigger molly and that didn't work either okay so here i sit with two holes and I think I'm going to have to put the shower curtain in four new holes because this is just not working. Okay, y'all. So since I um, pushed the old screw through the wall uh, with the molly, I had to go find a screw that would fit this. Make sure that the head fits through the hole but it slides over enough to hold this piece on the wall. Alrighty, we're ready. And I screwed the top screw in almost to the wall, but leaving enough space so that my plastic piece can fit behind it. Now I'll put the other piece on this gauge where the second screw goes. From the big hole, I'm going to slide it into the lock position so I can mark where the other screw will go. Okay, I'm going to take this pole, and I don't know if you see those two notches. I'm going to put this pole, particularly looking at the back of it, the one toward the bathtub. I'm going to try to get it in both notches because you have a notch over here that they have to go through too. Okay, there it is. Nice and strong. I hope y'all can see this, but I've taken the whole shower curtain and put it in place so that I can go across to the other side to measure where I'm gonna put my other hole. And remember, I already have an estimate of where I want this other hole to be. I just want to make sure the shower curtain is going up straight. Right here, I will use the leveler to make sure the rod goes up straight. Right here, I'm looking at the middle square and I'm making sure the bubbles between the two lines. And that's where I want to have. That's pretty good. And uh, at that point, I go to the other side. I can't do it because I'm taking this film. But I go to the other side and I mark where the top hole on the other side goes. And I know I could be using a drill, but I can't find my drill. But I have uh, pinpointed where my first, my top screw should go. And I'm using, you can either use a screwdriver or a nail or whatever. As you can see, once you go through the drywall, it's basically hollow. So that's where I want, I know I want my top screw. I've already measured from here to here, and, and I've already measured from the bottom to the top. This hole is too small. Uh, for the molly. So, unorthodox way. I know I want an oval, but I don't want it too big. See? That actually looks big enough. So, let's get the molly in. Molly facing me. It looks like it'll fit. Uh, let's give it a couple taps. And we're going to tap that Molly until it goes basically flat against the wall. Okay, the screw is in the first Molly, and now I'm going to put the second Molly in. Now I'll put my screw in. All right, I have screwed these screws in, but not all the way in. Put this piece on. And, 
and turn it. And I can see that piece is going to lock. And now I'm going to screw the screws in even tighter. Voila. Nice and tight with the mollies. Nice and tight. Right. This little stopper goes on. And then this piece goes toward the wall. You're being careful which one of these pieces you're using because one has a small hole for the small side of the shower uh, rod and the other has a bigger hole. Try both pieces to both ends before putting rod up. This piece is going to lock. See those notches? It's going to lock on the plastic piece. I have to give it a nice finished look. Now I'll put it back up. off very nicely now for the other side and I have my metal piece pointed toward the wall line these holes up push it in and then turn this until I hear a click then I'll know it's Getting locked in. Voila! Yeah, yeah, yeah. New shower curtain. Well, old shower curtain. New area. And it's done. Now, y'all, don't forget the plastic piece. It has to be pushed to the middle of the shower curtain. It's used as a stopper. And it helps to strengthen your rod, too. Make sure to fit it in that bigger rod. Voila! It is done. And it looks pretty good, if I may say so myself. <laughs>